heard there was a secret chord that David played and it pleased the Lord. You don't really care for music, do you? Well, it goes like this: the fourth, the fifth, the minor fall, the major lift, the baffled king composing. Hallelujah! 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 Hallelujah, hallelujah. Well, your faith was strong, but you needed proof. You saw her bathing on the roof, her beauty in the moonlight overthrew you. Well, she tied you to. Kitchen chair. She broke your throne and cut your hair. And from your lips she drew Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. There's a lot of clean, renewable technologies available. Um, of course, electric cars have been around for a while. Chris Payne, who's here, um, who is here at the festival, has a film called Who Killed the Electric Car? Um, Which is uh, about uh, why we only have gas cars on the road. This is very silly. The electric car technology is ready, but there are many forces that are trying to stop alternative technology. I think this is this could be an important film, and it goes after you know one aspect of how uh, a, a, an environmental initiative was destroyed by big oil, big government, big business. La energia renovable mes important que tenemos la creatividad de la conservación y la conciencia si o la in English it says uh, renewable energy is very important, but more important is creativity, conservation, and consciousness. Um, there are uh, a number of biofuels that can be produced sustainably. Um, um, of course, when big business generally gets into something, it's usually produced in an unsustainable way, and unfortunately that's starting to happen in biofuels right now, but they still can be produced. We could get driven to extinction just for spinning the wheels up and bumping ourselves with our own automobiles like the dinosaurs that died of that technology sold, and while they profit from pollution, we've been getting sold. Daryl, first of all, tell me how you got interested in this. Well, a friend of mine is sort of the biodiesel guru, and he told me about it about 10 years ago. Hi, this is Carl Foote. I'm with a group called the People for the Ethical Treatment of French Fries. Oh, my God. Well, put a, <clears throat> put a my question for Charles is how many innocent French fries have to fry to make this fuel? We'll, we'll be monitoring your process and uh, save the fries. Okay, you got to save the fries. People go fill up your tank with fuel made from corn, and when it's all used up, don't be too far long because you can grow it again on the same piece of land. This is vegetable This is vegetable oil fuel, and I'm running my truck on it. And he told me that uh, in 1900, Rudolf Diesel invented the diesel engine to run on vegetable oil so that farmers could grow their own fuel. Why, why are both of you so sold on it? For me. Every reason. That, yeah, <laughs> let's, can we start with renewability? I mean, it is a renewable fuel source from an agricultural stock. We don't have to go to war for it. We don't have to uh, pillage our fossil fuel supply. And it burns cleaner. Um, it smells good. Uh, I mean, look at this. This is my gas tank. It has a toxicity level somewhere between table salt and maple syrup. <laughs> you know, it's like... Uh, you know, you don't see that very often, do you? <laughs> <No>. <laughs>